warm greetings to all my viewers at the outset let me thank all my viewers for their continued support as well as their constructive feedbacks for today's thought i wish to walk you through with a three letter english word ask a s k i will not be looking at the word ask from its literary sense but i will shed light on the word ask from the angle of an acronym a for attitude s for skills and k for knowledge before the industrial revolution people were selected to perform a job based upon their knowledge but with the advent of the industrial revolution when the center of production moved from humble homes tiny shops and small farms to very large factories employing thousands of workers and large machinery and here the focus shifted from knowledge to skills so during this period a person was selected to perform a job based not on knowledge but on skills thus pushing skill knowledge to the back seat much water has flowed under the london bridge since the industrial revolution and today management pundits human resource specialists as well as industrial psychologists they are all unanimous when they say that today the selection process does not depend on skills or knowledge but it depends on your attitude thus pushing skills and knowledge to the second and third place i recall what the father of the indian nation mahatma gandhi once remarked quote the need of the day is not to produce a good engineer a good doctor or a good scientist but the need of the day is to produce a good citizen and when we talk about producing a good citizen it is not the paper qualification that you have from the universities but it is your attitude it is attitude that keeps people together a merit certificate will not bind a husband and together husband and wife together through life it is the attitude of the couple that binds them together a merit certificate is only a piece of paper given by a competent authority but what keeps them together is not the certificate but it is the attitude a stanford research scholar once remarked success is 80% attitude and 20% aptitude i wish to share with you a small story which makes a lot of sense which was taught to us in the moral science subject when i was studying in school once a very rich man who was also foolish decided to build a house and he thought for a moment the foundation of the house lies buried under the earth and that is what no one sees so i will not invest money on the foundation 
but I will invest more money on the interior decorations because that is what my neighbors are going to see and which is going to make me happy. So when the house was built, he cut corners in investing on the foundation and as a result, when the monsoons approached, one corner of the building had collapsed. So this is a very important lesson that we need to learn in life. It is not your skills, not your knowledge that is helping you to stay where you are or to go up the ladder, but it is your attitude. So attitude will determine whether you remain there and whether you go up the management ladder. To conclude, let me once again reiterate the word ask, A for attitude, S for skills, and K for knowledge. Attitude will determine your success. And as I've said earlier, as per, as per the comments of the scholar of the Stanford University, success is 80% attitude, but only 20% aptitude. Thank you. And still we meet again. Stay safe and bye-bye.